Welcome to a captivating tale that plunges us into the depths of history, exploring the chilling story of the Black Death. The year was 1346 when the disease first appeared in the trading ports of the Crimean Peninsula, on the shores of the Black Sea. The disease, carried by fleas infesting black rats, soon found its way onto merchant ships, spreading like wildfire across the continents. The year is 1347, and the Black Death arrives in Europe, casting a shadow of fear and despair across the continent. The disease spreads rapidly, engulfing nations in its deadly grip, each facing unique circumstances and beliefs. The Black Death was caused by the Yersinia pestis bacteria, which primarily spread through fleas that infested black rats. The bubonic plague, the most common form of the Black Death, manifested through swollen, painful lymph nodes known as buboes. Other forms, such as the pneumonic and septicemic plagues, affected the lungs and bloodstream, respectively, leading to rapid deterioration and high mortality rates. The highly contagious nature of the Black Death contributed to its rapid spread across continents. Physicians and healers struggled to comprehend the disease's origins and develop effective treatments. Some remedies included bloodletting, herbal concoctions, and the use of amulets and poultices to ward off the disease. In Italy, a center of trade and culture, the bustling cities of Florence, Venice, and Genoa become hotbeds of the disease. The crowded streets and bustling markets become breeding grounds for the plague, as fear grips the hearts of merchants and citizens alike. As the plague reaches France, the once thriving city of Avignon, the seat of the papacy, falls prey to the disease. The belief in divine retribution and the wrath of God spreads like wildfire, intensifying the atmosphere of fear and confusion. In England, the Black Death arrives in the coastal town of Weymouth. From there, it spreads rapidly, engulfing the bustling city of London. The people, gripped by superstition, turn to bizarre remedies and religious processions in a desperate attempt to ward off the disease. As the plague reaches the Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal face a deadly onslaught. In Eastern Europe, the plague ravages cities such as Prague, Krakow, and Constantinople. The prevailing superstitions of the time intertwine with local folklore and beliefs, giving rise to tales of witches, curses, and dark magic as communities grapple with the horrors of the disease. Throughout Europe, the plague-induced hysteria leads to persecution and scapegoating. Jews, blamed for the spread of the disease, face violent pogroms and forced exile, as fear and ignorance drive communities apart. As the years pass, the devastating impact of the Black Death begins to subside, leaving behind a shattered world forever scarred by its horrors. Yet, amid the darkness, humanity prevails, and communities slowly rebuild, holding on to newfound knowledge and the hope of a better future. As the Black Death swept across continents, no region was spared from its deadly grasp. Let us delve into the estimated death tolls, unveiling the magnitude of loss experienced in each part of the world. Europe, in Europe, the heartland of the Black Death's devastation, it is estimated that the plague claimed the lives of approximately 25 million people. This catastrophic loss represented roughly one-third of the continent's population, leaving towns, cities, and villages decimated. Asia, the birthplace of the Black Death, Asia also suffered immense casualties. China, where the plague first emerged, witnessed an estimated death toll of over 25 million, 
further exacerbated by widespread famine and warfare. India and other parts of Asia also experienced significant loss, with estimates ranging from 25 to 30 million deaths. Africa, though historical records for Africa are less comprehensive, the Black Death left an indelible mark on the continent. North Africa, including present-day Egypt, Algeria, and Tunisia, witnessed a significant death toll, with estimates ranging from 5 to 10 million lives lost. Middle East, the Middle East, situated at the crossroads of trade and commerce, also experienced the ravages of the Black Death. The death toll in the region is estimated to have reached around 10 million, with major cities like Baghdad, Damascus, and Cairo bearing witness to widespread devastation. Americas, while the Black Death's impact on the Americas is less well documented, evidence suggests that indigenous populations suffered significant losses. The introduction of European diseases, including the bubonic plague, resulted in devastating outbreaks, leading to an estimated death toll of several million. These estimates, though approximate, underscore the sheer magnitude of the devastation wrought by this merciless plague. The impact on the Church, the Black Death had a profound effect on the Catholic Church. With the massive loss of life, priests and religious figures struggled to cope with the sheer number of dead and the spiritual needs of the living. Some question the Church's ability to protect against such a devastating plague, leading to shifts in religious beliefs and practices. Medical theories and treatments, in the face of the Black Death, physicians and healers grappled with understanding the nature of the disease. Many medical theories of the time, influenced by miasma theory and the belief in imbalanced humors, attempted to explain the causes of the plague. Some treatments included bloodletting, herbal remedies, and the use of protective amulets or charms. Social and economic upheaval, the massive death toll caused by the Black Death had far-reaching consequences on society and the economy. Labor shortages resulted in the collapse of feudal systems, as peasants demanded better working conditions and higher wages. The upheaval led to a gradual shift towards a more mercantile economy and increased social mobility. Artistic and literary responses, the Black Death also influenced the cultural landscape of the time. Artists, writers, and poets depicted the horrors of the plague in their works, showcasing the fragility of life and the inevitability of death. This morbid fascination with mortality gave rise to the artistic style known as the Danse Macabre or Dance of Death. Long-term consequences, the Black Death left a lasting impact on European societies. The trauma and fear associated with the plague led to cultural shifts, such as the development of memento mori art and literature. As we conclude this poignant exploration of the Black Death, we are reminded of the indomitable spirit of humanity in the face of unimaginable tragedy. The Black Death was a harrowing chapter in history, one that forever altered the course of civilizations and left an indelible mark on the collective memory of humanity. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to Historical Insights for more captivating historical content. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary voyage through the haunting tale of the Black Death.